Hey guys, welcome. My name is Dana and this is the Pink Peony Oracle. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an astrology overview for the supermoon eclipse in Sagittarius. So I uh, will also then be doing an oracle message and giving you guys a little bit of an understanding of what Sagittarius can expect. Um, just pressing record, I'm actually hearing visionary, visionary. And you know, a lot of people have been a bit nervous. And I mean, even in some of the previous readings that I've done for this um, eclipse, it, things can seem a bit um, dark and murky, especially in the way I've been describing it. But you know, and I mean, obviously being Sagittarius, like you, you are the visionary. I think there's, and there's something coming through about like trusting your vision because these energies may be affecting you and you, you know, this is Sagittarius is in the South Node at the moment. It has been for a while. So these are kind of things that we're moving away from. So that's why I'm hearing like trust in your vision and trust in yourself right now. Um, so that was a interesting message that no one else got. Um, <laughs> so to give a brief overview of what is happening in the sky right now. Um, basically, this is a portal time because we are between this. It's the portal is between two eclipses. Okay, and eclipses usually come in pairs or threes, and um, basically, it's a very karmic time. It's a time where the veil is extremely thin, and we have access to an extreme amount of wisdom and clarity and understanding for ourselves. Um, but being in Sagittarius, I do think you guys may find yourselves feeling a bit on edge with all these energies. They are extremely amplified. However, there is a need for you to trust. Trust your vision, okay? Trust what it is that you know to be true for you, I'm feeling. So, there is, we will have whatever our experiences are and whatever lessons we're experiencing there is going to be a shift in perspective for this, like time, okay, these, within these lessons, within our understanding of who we are and ourselves, and um, it's going to be, you know, if we take the lessons and if we take the perspective shift that we're being offered right now, we can l really harness our ability to see through illusions at this time. Because there is a lot of disillusionment in the air. Because of all the retrograde energy. Because of the squares and the other aspects happening right now. We are also moving through the photonic light belt within the cosmos. Um, which Earth hasn't done in like the last 12,000 years. So there is a lot of extreme energies hitting the Earth right now. It is affecting people in a lot of ways. Our vibrations are raising and increasing and with all of this a lot of stuff is coming up for us to address for us to look at and for us to gain an extreme amount of wisdom from um, so with that said the Saturn retrograde that just happened Saturn is currently stationary in the sky so it is at a bit of a climax a bit of a peak of its energy right now um, and I think this may be working in a benefit for us. I mean, everyone gets scared of retrogrades, but I like to <clears throat> look at what we can take from them. And because Saturn is big daddy energy, he brings about responsibility. He makes us look at our own sense of morality. He makes us look at how we're being mature or are we being mature in situations. And I think all of these responsibility, our morale, our ethics, all of these things um, are giving us an opportunity to be mature with all the external situations around us, okay? So, obviously, Mercury's in retrograde. We all know what Mercury retrograde brings, okay? Miscommunication, um, lack of clarity, technology failing us, like all of these things. But now again, I'm hearing trust your vision, trust 
your vision, trust what you see and understand to be true for you. There is a need for you to trust yourselves especially. So basically, if with everything playing out, the lessons of everything happening at this time, um, if we can have a healthy sense of detachment towards the lessons, towards the experiences that are happening around us, that is how we will gain this wisdom and greater understanding. Um, the, like I said earlier, our ethical principles within ourselves will be coming up, being tested. These are all part of the lessons and how you approach them is really what will move you forward and almost quantum leap you because that is what eclipse season is about. It is a, is a, is it a point? It is a point between a, an ending and a beginning and the in-between bit is a bit of of a fuzzy time it's almost like that reboot energy and that is um that is that is where we experience this quantum leap it is in this time where things seem a bit dark okay the light of the moon is blocked out and the earth is in a bit of a dark period darker period not a bad period but this is where clarity wisdom all these lessons are going to be brought up in order to leap us forward in our evolution as individual beings so advice would be to cultivate a healthy perspective um especially about the uncomfortable things that come up at this time check in with yourself and especially be honest with yourself about how you are how you're feeling be gentle with yourselves so basically You know, we have, we have an ability, um, I'm hearing choices for you guys, choices are going to be a big thing in order to make the most out of your life right now. Yeah, there's going to be a big jump in consciousness for you. So Sagittarius, like I said in the beginning, I think you can expect to feel a little bit on edge just because um, the moon is in your sign. It is a full moon. It is bringing up stuff to be released. Um, and being in your sign, these energies are going to be extremely amplified for you. You will be feeling them, especially if you have like Sagittarius is your sun sign and you still have other placements, Sagittarius and other aspects of your houses in your chart. It'd be very beneficial for you to see where they are in your chart in order to understand how they're going to be playing out for you at this time. So, um, I think for you, it's going to be, um, these energies are going to be centering around your self-identity and um, honesty about who you are. Um, there's a need for you to take um, a new approach with a lot of things. There's going to be, I think, a lesson in how you approach situations. Um, and then um, you will have opportunities to create, a great, to create and have a better understanding within your personal relationships right now. These are things that I think will be coming up for you. So with that said, I'm going to do a little oracle reading to find out what you can expect, the lessons that you can expect from this karmic time, and the advice. So, what I'm new, what deck am I gonna use? Mm, I think I want to use. I want to use the Moonology cards to understand what is um, what you can expect at this time. You know, use another deck. So, what can... So, oh, shit. Okay. Ah, I thought so. Okay, so this is where your emo feelings on edge will be coming from. Okay, you got a super moon, which is exactly what we'll be experiencing. This is not... This is going to affect you. Okay, this is going to... This is amplified energy. This is heightened emotions. Um... That is why, you know, it would be, that is, this explains like why you will be feeling on edge. My cat is stalking something. I hope it's not a baby bird. 
So this explains why you will be feeling on edge. Like I said, everything's amplified. But I think um, I think you can expect, I mean, you've got communication is key. This is the new moon in Gemini. So this could be coming back to the relationships um, and uh, having that greater understanding within your relationships it might come through communicating about it. But um, we are, we are like, I mean, we are in Gemini season, but Mercury is going retrograde in Gemini. So as I was advising everyone, there is a need for us to be mindful with whom we communicate, how we communicate. Um, make sure you don't let the the interfering energies of the heart and emotions get involved here and like create a bit of like an illusion and lack of clarity in your situation. Um, so <laughs> I want to actually get, I want to pull a clarifier just to see what else you could be expecting. I'm going to use the Neo Tarot. Okay, you got a card. Okay, so you're experiencing, you got the death card in reverse. So you are experiencing a finality of a situation, a culmination point, um, a culmination point of your own internal transformation. Um, I'm also getting uh, there. It's a point of like um, personal, emotional fulfillment can be gained through this time. Okay. But there's definitely an ending of sorts coming your way. That could not, that, that, uh, okay, so that's what you can expect. Let's work out. I, I do feel that this ending of sorts is actually bringing about like a more victorious new beginning. Like I said, the next eclipse happening, I think on the 10th of June, it's in Gemini as well. Um, that could definitely, that's when the communication could be key and that's when you could have a more victorious outcome and this new beginning so let me use i'm going to use my archangel power tarot to understand the lessons in this karmic time okay that was quick okay slow moving energy you've got the knight of ariel which is the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck you've got the five of ariel so um there is a need, I think there's this, uh, like, the five, again, this is speaking of change, um, and the not, okay, so, basically, in your environment, you may be feeling a little bit alone, but I think it's important to know that, like, you hold the key to your own um, freedom, yeah, you don't need to be alone at this time, it's, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like one of these illusions, okay, that are playing out at this time. One of the illusions is that you feel alone, that you feel lacking, um, but I actually think it's more of like a negative thought process will make you feel more this way. Um, like, this is the lesson. These are lessons that you need to learn. So, having a greater perspective and understanding that you can, like, you control your own constraints you control your own um like how cold you feel out in the world um it's almost like you're creating your own negative um thinking patterns which are creating like prophecies like your own self-fulfilling energies um just through your mental um feelings because you may feel a little bit alone at this time however you need to just understand that it's actually just a slow moving energy. Um, you know, there's, there is hopefulness here. This is someone moving. This is like, this is, this is understanding that there is a lot to do and a lot to accomplish, especially when it comes to feeling this way. But I do feel like, like almost like a, like a, um, like a bright idea will come from this if you can actually work with these energies rather than hindering yourself. Obviously, the main one is your your thoughts create your reality. So what you're thinking about is where you need to be mindful. 
And then you also need to be communicating something perhaps even just to yourself like this this uh, there needs to be an understanding of again like the self identity thing an honesty with yourself like understanding that perhaps a lot of these things that you're putting on yourself these experiences in your external world are coming more from yourself than anyone else and um there is someone in your environment who is there to help you and assist you right now um <laughs> They may be moving a bit slowly. You may be feeling like this process is going very slowly. But there is there is a need for you to have a very detailed, practical plan in place for how it is you want to move forward and where it is you want to be moving to. Because, you know, she is stepping out of the door. Like, she's actually stepping out of the cold. The door is open, but she is stepping out from inside outside out into a new experience and i think this is that moving towards that new experience moving towards where there is a lot of growth a lot of prosperity a lot of abundance within your life so i think there's going to be an epiphany point there's going to be an understanding that perhaps there's people around you there's something in your community that can help you achieve this um whatever it is that you're trying to move towards whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish right now there are people around you that really want to help you and i think this is that light bulb moment knowing that you don't have to do it all by yourself is probably a lesson that you're going to learn that you do have people to rely on okay um sagittarius is quite an independent energy but they are very sociable um Okay, so I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull an advice card just to clarify. I'm hearing something in my head, but I'm just gonna clarify. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. Well, this is what I thought. I think that is everything. Okay, so the advice um you got the willpower card so and then you got answers at the bottom of the deck so this is that like communication answers will be coming in answers that you seek will be coming in towards you if you have the willpower to move out in towards the world like stepping out of this um like stepping out towards something there is something that you're moving towards um and i mean she's holding the whole world in her hand so this is like this is that visionary energy like you have you have the the you can gain a greater understanding within the situation your visions and what it is that you believe in you can move towards okay there is this card being willpower speaks of having a certain amount of inner strength and moving Having the willpower to be dedicated, to be willing to communicate, to understand when you need help, when you need to seek help, when you need to help yourself. There is a big um, willpower is all about like individual experience as well. So this comes back to that self identity and being honest with yourself about it. Um, these. I think this is and this is where the advice will come from and i think at the end of the day like he's looking this oak this guy he's looking super peaceful like he's at peace with his experiences no matter what the chaotic energy is around him and um i think this this there's also i mean she's looking at the world which is almost like having a zoomed out perspective and in this perspective the stepping out of your current situation in order to look at it from all different angles will almost give you the answers that you need and almost create a sense of peace inside of you about whatever it is that you are like a sense of peace and well-being inside of your heart you know um like a hopefulness that actually will work to your benefit there's also something i mean she's holding the earth so i think grounding your energy going out into nature will really really help you right now that was a big bird. That was a really big bird. 
Big birds, big perspective. Okay, so I just picked up my Angels and Ancestors oracle. You got the Mirror Guardian. So big perspective. She's looking at the entire universe within this mirror. It's about self-reflection and seeing the universe that is you, you know. You have the entire universe within you, which means you have access to everything that you could possibly need within you. There is a need for, for self-reflection as well. And that is probably where you'll gain this higher perspective, where you'll gain willpower to move towards, gain some sort of like empowerment within yourself, within your situation. But you aren't alone and communication will help you, I think, right now. So Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped you in some way, prepared you a little bit for what you can expect, or at least helped you be a little bit more mindful about how you can move through these energies. So... Have an incredible day and good luck with your eclipse season.